everybody, it's me Alice and today I am filming my updated makeup collection of a 16 year old because the last time I filmed my makeup collection was 6 months ago and since then my makeup collection has grown massively so without further ado, let's get on the video. So I store my makeup in my Alex 5 drawers and then on the top of my drawers I have my whole, my Real Technique makeup brushes. So I've got some of the Bold Metals limited edition ones, I've got some of the original brushes as well and I've just got some beauty blenders so I've got one from Primark which I love to use, like love to blend in with my concealer and I also have a real techniques beauty blender as well move over here I have this I have all my little eyeshadow brushes in a Soella pot so I've got a few of the uh, the real techniques make like eyeshadow brushes and I also ordered some off Amazon three pound for 12 of them and they are amazing brushes and really soft and fluffy as well and they also have my little urban decay brush from my naked smoky and just a modern renaissance anesthesia um eyeshadow brush as well and i like to put this in my zoella pot and then this in my ikea pot then over here i have got my zoella cream i like to use this for all over my body and it smells really nice with macaroons and this is really nice and i'm sure i got this for christmas on my birthday so yeah, love that. And then just behind that, I have my baby powder because I like to use this as like a loose powder to bake my face with. And yeah, that's very good. Move on to my acrylic drawers. These are from eBay. Basically, I've got some of my pot of my pocket bags. I've got Pretty as a Peach. I've got Sweet Pea. And I also have Champagne Sparkle. And you can get these off eBay for £3 each. And they are amazing. And then behind that, I have my Mario Badescu spray. I love this a lot. And this was £7 from Urban Outfitters. And this just helped clear my skin up a lot. And you can also use it as a setting spray to set your makeup. And just like a face refresher as well. So recommend that. And then just behind here, I just got a mini sample of a perfume, which I got off work experience when I went to Boots, and yeah, it smells very nice. Move over here, I've just got some of my, so I've got my Benny tint, and I also have my Posy tint as well, and they are very nice. And then I also have my NYX glitter, this is in copper, I love this a lot, and it's very nice, and I like to use it on my eyes. And then over here, I've just got my MAC lipstick in the shade Men Love Mystery. It's a lovely purple shade. And as you can tell, I have used it quite a lot, but yeah. However, I won't be repurchasing any other MAC products just because I've just because I feel like they're lying about like the don't animal test and there's been mixed reviews about if they do test on animals and I do want to try and go cruelty free on makeup, so yeah. And then over here, I've just got my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Plumping Lip Gloss. I love this a lot and it's one of my faves. And then over here, I've just got my Collection Creamy Puff because, you know, who doesn't love a good creamy puff from Collection? This is basically a dupe for the next, the next one, so yeah. And then moving on behind here, I've got four of my um, Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. I've got all these from TK Maxx for around six or five pounds each. So I've got a pink one, I've got a nudie one, and I've also got two purpley shades as well. And I think all of them are metallics apart from this one. But yeah. Then if you move into my drawers, basically over here I've just got all of my NYX lipsticks apart from my, my Revolution one. So I'll show you all of them. So basically, I've, firstly I've got my NYX Liquid Suede. This is the metallic one. And I bought this the other day and this is in Pure Society. If you've watched my vlog, you know that I bought this and I love this. And then here I've just got a Revolution Liquid Lipstick. I got this in the lip kit for my birthday. This is in the shade rain and it's such a beautiful pinky shade and then i next have some of my butter glosses so i've got one in a purple shade and i also have one in a nudie shade as well and they are very nice and i love them and then i've got two nyx lingeries i used to have three but then one ran out so i've got one in exotic and i've got one in push up as well and they are very lovely and these are one of the best lipsticks you can ever get and i've got two of my nyx soft matte lip creams in istanbul and what is the shade i don't know but yeah basically two pink shades and then basically i went, basically I went into b&m and i found three nyx lipsticks for four pound 99 so i've got a ready one Oh no, this is a red one. So I've got a red one, I've got a nudie one, and then I've also got another nudie shade as well, and they are lovely. Then if you move into my second drawer, these are just more of the random kind of like lipsticks which I've got. So I've got three lip liners from Revolution which came with the lip kit. 
I have a Revlon one, which is like my favourite one ever. And I got this in a beauty outlet and it's a lovely nudie shade. And I also have a Maybelline one, which isn't as, as good, but I still like to use it. And yeah, I love that. And then I've got three Revolution kind of lip glosses, which I got in a set for Christmas. Got a ready one, got a nude one, and I've got another nude shade as well. And they are very pretty. And they are kind of stupid for the NYX Lingerie lipsticks. Got a Rimmel Show Off lipstick. I got this in the Beauty Outlet again. And I do like this, but it's just a bit too bright for my skin tone. So, yeah, but I still like it. And then finally, I've got a Revolution lipstick. This is one of the butter glosses. And these are amazing. I used to have loads of these, but I gave them all to my sister apart from this one because... This is one of my favourites, but yeah, and this is in the shade 90, Sweetheart. If you move beside my acrylic drawers, I've just got three Ted Baker sprays. So I've got a white one, I've got a pink one, and I've also got a green one as well, and these are very nice. I also have the Ted Baker hand cream to go with it, and as you can tell, I've used this all up, and I love that. And I also have my Lancome perfume. It's like in cream form. I'll try and open it for you guys. It's a lovely perfume, and I also have it in like the perfume form as well. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Over here, I've just got a Fever Wang perfume. This is the Lovestruck one. And also, when I went to Boots, they gave me this. Basically, they just gave me lots of perfumes because, you know, I just thought that I need to smell nice. They're probably hinting something. But, you know, love that. Finally, but not least, I have got my Tommy Hilfiger perfume. One of my favourites. And yeah, as you can tell, I've got hardly anything in it left. But... This is very nice. So in my first drawer, I have got like foundations, I've got highlighters, powders and just stuff like that. So I'm going to start off with my foundations. So firstly, I've got my L'Oreal True Match in Ivory. I've got my LA Girl foundation in the shade Fair. And I've also got my Kat Von D shade and no, not shade and light, my Locket foundation in the shade Light Cool. And then here I've just got some primers. So I've got a collection primer, Revolution, Professional, and just another Professional as well. And then moving on to concealers, I've just got Rimmel, NYX, 17, LA Girl, and I've also got a, a, seven, a collection concealer as well. And then I've got my two Nivea Men Pro Shave Balms. One of my friends had gave me one of these because it didn't work well with the skin. So that's why I've got two of them. And then I've also got my two faced powders. These are amazing for setting your face with and just very nice. And then here I've just got a Dior blusher, which I got from Boots again. I've also got a honeycomb blush. I also have the dandelion blush. And I also have the master sculpt as well from Maybelline. Over here I've just got my MUA um, Undress Your Skin highlighter. This is gorgeous and I love using this. And I also have a Revolution highlight as well. And then over here I've just got two of my collection um what they're called my two collection powders and then i also have two of the blushing hearts by revolution and i've got some some contouring sticks from ted baker and revolution as well and then moving over here i've just got my bourgeois chocolate bronzer i've got my, my ted baker blusher and bronzer i've got my revolution highlight blush and bronzer kit and i also have my new revolution con oh this is not it but it's the other one this is what i was going on about and then this is my new one which i got for my birthday and it's very lovely my color corrector from freedom this is amazing and it's just so good and then behind there, I've got all of my setting sprays. So I've got my Revolution one, got Freedom, got my little Urban Decay one, which has got nothing in it left, but it's amazing. And I also just have a, a Revolution kind of like, what's it called? Like a priming spray. And then underneath that, I've just got a Benefit set, which I can't really reach at the moment. And here I've got my Anastasia, um, what's it called? Moonlight highlighter. This is gorgeous and this is one of my favourite products ever. I have my shade and light palette. This is amazing and I love this for contouring with. And then here I've just got my Revolution um, concealer palette. I've got a blush palette and I've also got another blush palette as well. And this is everything in my first drawer. Then if you move into my second drawer, I've got all my like eyeshadow palettes and mascaras and eyeliners. So starting off with mascaras, I've got my Maybelline Mega Plush. I've got the mini of the There Real and the Roller Lash as well. Whatever the roller lash is, it's here. I also have a Max Factor mascara, which is amazing. I've also got, um, basically, I went into B&M and I found the NYX. Basically, it's mascara and it comes with a fibres. It was at 3 99 So if you want to get this, have a look in B&M because we're saving like £4. So got them and they are very good. I've also got my L'Oreal Miss Manga, which is a classic mascara for most girls because it's just so nice. And then I've just gone 
um, an eye glitter which I got off Depop off a seller and it's very good and it's a lovely like pinky colour and I like that and I also have my NYX eyebrow pomade in the shade blonde but I feel like it's a little bit too light for my eyebrows as my eyebrows are, are darker now so I might go for the darker shade but yeah I love that for using my eyebrows with and then moving over here I've just got my eyeliners so I've got a Soap and Glory Super Cut which is my fifth and I've also got some eyelid primers and I've also got another eyelid primer from The Balm, which is amazing as well. I've just got my collection little eyeliner. And I've also got like some lash curlers and just other stuff in there. And then moving on to my palettes, I've got my Tarte Tees eyeshadow palette, which is one of my cutest and most favourites because it smells of chocolate. And look at the packaging as well. It's just so nice and I love this palette a lot. And I've got my Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette and I've also got the Balm Nutude. And I've got my Naked Smoky which is probably one of my oldest eyeshadow palettes because I've had it for two years now. And it's just, you know, it's not as good as the other ones but you know, I still love it the same because you got to love all your babies the same, you know what I mean? And then I've got in in the both lightly toasted which I'm not using ages just because I've got other alternatives. And I've also got a Benefit Creaseless Eyeshadow. Basically, I can use this on my eyebrows because it's like a top shade. So, I like to use that. And then here I've got lots of Revolution palettes. So, I've got one with eyeshadows in, which I used to use all the time because I didn't have any red eyeshadows. But I do now. So, I love that. I've got that one. I also have another one of these. It's more like warm toned and that's very pretty. And I've got the Iconic 3 palette, which is amazing. And I'm sure most people have this palette because... You know, it's, it's a dupe for the Naked 3. Finally, I've got my little eyebrow kit, which as you can tell, I've used a lot and I've hit plan on that shade. But the boss, at the moment, um, in Super Drug Revolution, I've got the massive palettes of these for £15 in like the Christmas set. So go and have a look if you want one because I recommend them. They're very good. It's got a Midnight palette, which I don't use just because pigmentation is rubbish. But, you know, I'm still going to keep it just in case. You never know. And then here I've got two L'Oreal eyeshadows. I've got a nude one and I've also got like a silvery shimmery shade and they're very nice. And then here I've got a, a wet and wild um, sweetest candy, um, what's it called, eyeshadow. And this is the same name as the Ariana Grande perfume, I just realised. But yeah, I love that. I've got two of the Maybelline colour tattoos. One in Eternal Gold, which is my Holy Grail makeup product. I'm going to get this every time. Whenever it runs out, I'm going to get it because it's just amazing, so I'll go and get it. And then I also have one in Immortal Charcoal, which is still good, but I don't use it as much. But yeah, these are amazing. And the last 24 hours, as they say on the packaging. I've got two Makeup Obsession eyeshadows. I've got Burnt and then I've got Plum, so they're very nice and I love these. And then obviously, I'm, I had to leave my fave till last. This is my Morphe 35O palette. I'll try and open it for you guys if I can. Just to say, this palette is amazing. It's £23 from Beauty Bay and it's just amazing. And yeah, just look at that. Moving on to my third drawer, basically, this is all where I store my eyelashes and my, like, my baby lips as well. So I'll start off with eyelashes. So I've got... These ones which are from Primark, these are just the Primark eyelashes. And Primark eyelashes are really good but I recommend that you use a different eyelash glue for them because the Primark eyelash glue isn't that good. So obviously I'm going to use the duo lash glue for that which I bought from the Beauty Outlet. And this is just the black one. And then here I've just got some Ardell lashes which are the natural ones. And I've used them a lot but they don't look that nice on my eyes so... I might have to trim them a bit more. And I have some of the Demi Wispies by um, Ardell. I bought these the other day and I can't wait to use them. Because they're quite similar to the girls with Attitude Lashes. Which I've got over here. So as you can tell they're quite similar. But yeah I love them. And they're very pretty. And I've got Girls of Attitude Fantasy. Which are my favourite. And then here I've just got some tweezers like to do my eyebrows. And just to apply my eyelashes with. And I've just got like nail glues and stuff like that in there. And then here I've got all my baby lips. So I've got some of the Christmas edition ones. And I've also got three of the crystals. Which I think the crystal ones are quite rare. So I'm lucky to have them. I've got some of the pop art ones. And I've just got some of the originals as well. And basically everything else is just kind of like random stuff in this drawer. But yeah. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Hey.